Open gaze versus narrow gaze. The genius of alternating between panoramic and narrow gaze on the course. Do you do it? You should. Golfers often think that the same neural pathway is being used for all eye focus, but that is simply not the case. As you watch this video, focus in narrowly, maybe on my nose, and then expand to a broad panoramic view. There are two ways of your eyes seeing, but it's important to know that in each mode, they send messages to the brain differently. If you're excited, you're normally in a narrow gaze, kind of looking through a pipe, and you might be missing out on things on the outer edge of your gaze. But when you're in a panoramic gaze, you're seeing a much broader landscape, but you might also be missing a little detail happening within that wide, busy landscape. I suggest that when you reach your next shot, that you look at your target in both a wide angle panoramic way as well as a narrow way. Doing so will provide your brain with two different perspectives and enhance focus. Additionally, the wide angle panoramic view will also trigger your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your restful nervous system. So by simply activating that wide angle view, you're also going to be resting yourself right before that shot.